Uh, California has long been a popular destination for Chinese tourists with direct flights and attractions. But when China locked down for COVID-19, outbound tourism plummeted and has yet to fully recover, hitting the U.S. state hard. Now, California is hoping to bring those Chinese tourists back. Aris Pizza with this report. Chinese visitors are a welcome sight these days across California, from San Francisco to Los Angeles after a tough few years. Even as Beijing lifted COVID restrictions, LA's Chinese visitor numbers last year were at just 40% of the approximately 1 million who came in 2019. But the ones who did make it to California still spent more than $2 billion in the state. When you see only 400,000 coming in, but they happen to be spending more than another country that has 600,000 people coming in, you can tell that their spending power has still been quite good. Still, it's been difficult for many businesses that rely on Chinese tourists. The pandemic slowdown prompted Citadel Outlets, which has an office in China, to ramp up its efforts to reach Chinese customers directly on social media. That's how we're really able to get to the customer because we're getting that Chinese customer endorsement um, by somebody that they trust. And that's been very, very good for us. She says there's been a noticeable uptick so far this year, raising hopes of a full recovery. Well, Chinese visitors remain a visible presence here at popular destinations like this. It's likely to take a while to return to pre-pandemic levels nationally. The U.S. National Travel and Tourism Office predicts that won't happen until 2026. Experts say economic uncertainty for Chinese tourists, coupled with a focus in Beijing on domestic travel, are among the factors slowing things down. So there's been a heavy push to have travel be far more domestic um, with lots of um, media and uh, pushes from state agencies and those things to encourage domestic tourism rather than international long haul. The lack of flights between China and the U.S. is another issue. In San Francisco, there are currently around 25 per week, just half of pre-pandemic levels. That was a major talking point on the city's mayor, London Breed's recent trip to China. And I'm here in Beijing, China, and guess what, San Franciscans? Which included meetings with Chinese airlines and a plan to bring pandas to the San Francisco Zoo. We think that with increased flights, with business opportunities, uh, with pandas and all that we're talking about, um, the economic opportunities for San Francisco can be significant. And just to put it into perspective, we are not at pre-pandemic levels for flights coming in from China, but already last year we saw over $633 million in economic impact to the city just from tourists who came from China to our city. California's governor, Gavin Newsom, paid a visit to China last year as well. For the Golden State, the return of Chinese visitors could be a golden opportunity. Iris Betzer, CNA, San Francisco.